Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me on this morning. Good morning. As you begin to come in, if you can just take just a moment and share the video or tag someone in it, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Good morning, Teresa. On this morning, I want to share with you that I am Pastor Deidre Samuel McLeod. I am the pastor of Divine Destiny Ministries, and I'm also the founder and the facilitator of an awesome women's ministry online called the Daughters of Zion. On this morning, I want to share a quick word with you. I apologize for not being able to share with you on Motivational Monday, but I'm going to kind of combine them both both together. So on this morning, if you can just drop in the comments for me and say, I did not, I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Um, in the beginning of this year, when everyone started off with 2020, everybody kind of had the same slogan and everyone was saying how God was going to straighten our vision. We was going to have 2020 vision um, leading in the year of 2020. And everybody was talking about having vision. Thank you, Keisha. Everybody was talking about having vision and everybody was so excited. Just I'm um, quoting the same thing. 2020, I'm going to have vision. Good morning, Crystal. I'm going to have vision. God is straightening up my vision. I see clearly now and all those things. But when the year 2020 actually got started and and it wasn't long after we was in people view of how they was actually seeing the year change due to the coronavirus. The coronavirus actually changed people's testimony and they stopped saying how God was straightening up their vision and how they can see things clearly now and how things was um, going to change for them and that this year they can see it. They can see greatness on the other side of this year. Everybody started changing their language due to a virus. But I I want to come back and say to you, I didn't see that coming, but God did. The Bible says that God knows the plans that he has for us. Not that we know the plan, not that you know the plan, not that all of us know the entire plan, but the truth of the matter is God knows the plan that he has for us. And if God knows the plan, God already know everything that he allowed to take place to get us to the place that he has called us forth to be. So we got to understand and the possibility of God changing our vision, God had to actually allow a virus to be released on the earth to actually begin to see the way that God desires for us to see. Now, I was looking at Exodus 13 and 17, and the Bible said now that, that God gave Mo Moses a, 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 a job to do, and his job was to take the children of Israel from Egypt to their promised land. He only gave them, he only only gave them the same assignment. He said, I need for you to take the people, the children of Israel from Egypt to the promised land, from Egypt to the promised land. But he didn't tell them about the in-between. Let me tell you something. We don't ever see the in-between. We always prophesy about what's to come. We don't talk about what's in between. And so when we begin to shout about the house is coming, the promotion is coming, the job is coming, the marriage is coming, finances is coming, my healing is coming, my breakthrough is coming. We shout about the end part, but we don't ever talk about the in between. The in between is the part that I never saw coming. The end result is that God is going to be the promise keeper that he is and the promise is going to come to pass. But the truth of the matter is, I didn't see this right here coming. I saw my business launching. I saw my marriage um, going to another level. I saw promotion. I saw healing. I saw, I saw myself walking into a whole new realm, but I did not see the coronavirus coming. And so therefore, when we started talking about our vision, we started talking about things that we can naturally see and not the things that God was allowing us to be able to see spiritually. Now, Exodus 13 and 17 says, when Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country that which 
was shorter. And, and let me tell you something. There are some ways that God is allowing us to get to the promise. huh? But God didn't allow us to go through the shorter route. He didn't allow us to go through the path, the shortcut. God is taking us around the long road. And, 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 and for God said, if they face war, listen to me. If they face war, they might change their minds and return back to Egypt. There's some things that God has prophesied. There's some things that God has spoken. There are some things that's about to take place in our lives, but God did not allow us to take the shortcut in order to get to it. God said, I'm going to take you around the long way because if I take you around the long way, I can get, I can get that flesh out of you. I can get, I can get that lazy spirit out of you. I can get that unteachable spirit out of you. I can change your attitude. I can begin to deal with your heart, your stony heart. I can allow you to be, gave, be able to forgive on your way to the promised land because if God would allow you to take the shorter route, you would have took the same foolishness, the same mindset that you have in Egypt, which is a slave mentality, and you would have took that slave mentality into the promised land. As so therefore, you would have start saying that God did not do what God has spoken. And actually, God did. You just wasn't ready for it. So I want some, somebody to say that I did not see it coming because there was some hell, some foolishness. There were some things that God had to get out of me before I was able to walk in to my promised land. Because if not, if not, I would have turned around. The Bible said that if they face war, if I would have faced some things that I'm facing right now when I first came out of Egypt. I would have quit. We can all testify to that. I would have quit. You would have quit. But sometimes God allow us to get so far away from the shore. Listen to me. He allow us to too get, get too deep in that we have no other choice but to swim because if not we would have went back to shore and we would have been saying that God is not a promise keeper he didn't do what he said but I came to testify to somebody on this morning you might not have seen this coming but God knows the thoughts and the plans that he has for each and every one of us. And his thoughts is not to harm us. His thoughts is, his thoughts is to prosper us and give us a hope and a future. And let me tell you something, that, that this hope and this future is greater than anything that I can ever think, anything that I could ever imagine. Where I am right now, where you are right now, is really not where you are. God just allowing you to take the longer route to get you to the promise. To get you to the promise. So I want you to understand, you might not have seen it coming, but God did. I pray that this word has been a blessing to you. Share this word, tag somebody in it, and let them know. I didn't see it coming, but God did. For the ones that are joining on late, go back and listen to the replay. Share, share, share. Tag somebody in it. Join me this afternoon at 6 p.m. at 6 p.m. for prayer and Bible study. Join us. Join us. You can join us at 231 West Carolina Avenue, or you can join us right here on the live. And I promise you, I'm going to dig a little bit more into this. And, and Sister Tamara, I saw you join in. I was actually going to call you earlier. I had a dream about you on last night. There are more to your business. There's some more to your business that God is going to do through you. That he's actually changing your vision right now. He's actually changing your vision. And, and how you see the business is so much greater than what God is actually going to launch you to. I, I, I saw I saw you actually working and selling and selling um, products, beauty, 
products. I saw you, I saw you launching a business, um, helping, helping women, not only beautify their body, but you was also helping them beautify their total, total inside and out. So, so I want to share that prophetical word with you that your business is actually going to be greater than what you actually see it. And I actually saw people even working for you. I, I saw you, I saw you working, but I saw people actually working for you and you assigned other people over different areas as you begin to work the vision that God has given you. I want to say to you, do not give off course. Don't, don't, don't sway to the left or to the right due to other people's opinions. I want you to stay true to the vision that God has given you. And I want you to understand the very thing that he has given you, even though it might seem like it's not going the way that you want it to go. You might say that I don't have the clients. I don't have the resources. I don't have everything in place, but I'm telling you, I actually saw you sitting behind it was a it was a glass desk it was a glass desk a glass countertop desk I saw you sitting in front of the computer you was working the numbers and you had you had products you had products and people was actually working for you helping helping your business helping your vision come to pass so I want you to know that it's greater than the fitness Diverse fitness for the body. It's actually going to be a total body, mind, body, and soul. So, so get ready for the thing that God is launching you in. Right now, I hear the Lord saying, I'm preparing you for what I'm preparing you to bring to the people. So I pray, I pray that this word is confirmation to you. I pray that God begin to reveal it because I'm operating now in the office of a prophet and I'm going to help the word to be able to come and find you and help you to be able to walk out the very thing that God has spoken and declared over your life. This is the word of the Lord. I pray that you all have an awesome and wonderful day and to God be all of the glory.